Hey guys, so I'm doing this a little bit different. I had a video, well I thought I had a video, um, and the footage was ruined. My kids were just screaming in the background and it was just kind of a hectic day. So it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna just kind of go through everything that I did in the video with you guys. Um, so I was working with singing nettles. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what that is. I'll include a picture um, right now so you guys can see what that looks like. Um, so it's just like a prolific weed you can find in your yard, like dandelions. You find them everywhere in your yard. You can find stinging nettles everywhere in your yard. You can just find them all over the place. They're everywhere. And I didn't realize it until I started looking in my yard and I had a ton. So you can do a lot with them. They're really good for like pain management, arthritis. Uh, they have all sorts of good benefits. I'll include a picture right now so you guys can see all the benefits. Uh, so I did three different things. I did um, infused oil, actually four. I did infused oil, um, a salve, a tincture, and then also tea. So you can use it for all of that stuff. So first, I'll talk about the tincture. This is not done yet, it takes a few weeks. So what you do is you tear up into little pieces the leaves and stuff from the stinging nettles and then you just cover it with vodka and it doesn't have to be expensive vodka it can be whatever kind mine was like six bucks it was super super cheap doesn't smell great but it'll get the job done with this and this has to sit for five to six weeks so the next thing that i did was the infused oil so here's what that looks like and this is kind of a longer process not as long as the tincture but you can do this in the in the crock pot, which is really nice. This speeds it way up. So you do the same thing. You tear up the leaves into little pieces. Then you cover them in whatever oil you want. So I actually used coconut oil, and you, but you can use like uh, avocado oil, olive oil, whatever oil you prefer you can use. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a coffee filter and put it over the top, and then you'll take this metal ring and put that on there so it holds the coffee filter in place. You're gonna put it in your crock pot, fill the uh, crock pot up to about three fourths of the way of the jar. You don't want it to tip over, but you want it to you know, come up to about there. And then you are going to put your crock pot on the lowest setting possible, and you're not going to put the top on your crock pot. It will fry your herbs, fry your plants, whatever you have in there, and it stinks. I've done it, I've overcooked them. It smells terrible, it does not smell good. So do not do that. And then you just leave it. I left mine for like 24 hours. And then I just strained it out, and now I have this, and I used some of that for my salve. So this is what a salve is. It's like a cream that you can put on if you have pain or you know whatever else, a rash, anything like that. So what I did was I took a fourth of a cup of the uh, infused oil, a tablespoon of beeswax, and three fourths cup of shea butter. And I just heated that over the stove until it was liquid and then poured it into this mason jar and it hardened up and it's like um, a cream consistency that you can use for whatever ails you. Uh, and the last thing I did was tea. So I um, boiled some water and then I took the fresh leaves, put them in my mug and then poured the boiling water over the top, let it steep for like 20 minutes. And it was disgusting. I hated it. It was so nasty. It tasted like spinach tea. I did not like it. But if that's your thing and you like that sort of taste, then that's great. But yeah, I did not like it one bit. But the other stuff I think is super awesome. Um, I think that's it, That I everything that I did. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about it, uh, except when you're going to look for stinging nettles, um, you wanna get to the plant before it flowers. So if it has bloomed up at the top, then you don't wanna use that. Also, you're only gonna wanna take from six inches to a foot down from the top. 
you're not going to want to take the whole plant because um, I guess the bottom half isn't that great. So you just want to want to take the top part of that, so 6 to 12 inches of the plant, depending on how tall it is. Um, and I think that's it. I don't really have any other tips for that. Um, but yeah, I will include some graphics, what it looks like, and then also some of the um, benefits that it has. It has some really great benefits. Um, so I hope this video is helpful for someone. Go out in your yard, look for singing nettles, make a sap, whatever else you're going to do. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys.